guys welcome back to his grace redeems i am so sorry i tried to get the hauls done last night and it was just not working out so i switched out sd cards and now i'm trying it again um today i have this rug which is 60 by 84 i believe and it was on clearance at walmart for 25 dollars. and i looked at it uh, for two days and I was like do I want it do I not want it do I like it do I not like it and I do believe I like it it's not trendy but you know neither am I and it's a nice rug for $25 and I was thinking about my son um, who likes to lay on the floor as do I as you could tell because I'm sitting on the floor right now and so I got that for $25 Okay. I'm trying to see if I can devise a way to keep it steady. Which is probably going to be hard anyway because it's connected to my um, headset. So who knows if that'll work. And then I found these. I didn't find them. I've been waiting for them to drop in price. And they were $17. And they are kind of wellies and kind of not. I love this herringbone. I thought it was so pretty. I had to touch it to see if it was real. So they did a great job um, with the printing of that herringbone. And the fur is okay. And I was like, okay, well, they're great winter boots. I don't really need another pair of winter boots because I have a pair that I bought uh, last year. But actually, this fur comes out. So they're not just winter boots. They're also wellies, which I need a new pair of wellies because mine are all um, disgusting. Busted up and all that good stuff in the back. I've gotten my money out of them, we should say. And these are comfort to 20 below. Sometimes I find that was hard to believe, but 20 below. So that should be wonderful. And next, I picked up this tension rod, which I didn't know they had a tension rod and a bronze. It looks like a bronze. So I got two of those. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do with this stuff next week after this. I got that curtain rod, which is just a regular curtain rod and that's also in bronze uh next week after my inspection i guess i should start and i'm not gonna have two days off together for a while so i don't know what i'm gonna do anyway i got these aroma breeze and it uses a fragrance halo which is this thing and it's a fan so there's no melting wax or anything so it's safer but I can't find the halos, so I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. They were five bucks. Well, I thought they were super cute, and somebody was like, well, they're cute for five bucks, even if the if you never find the, fa the halo. I was like, yeah, but I'm not really into tchotchkes or just having things just to have them. Everything I have is operational or serves a purpose. Isn't this adorable? think that might even be cuter in all white or if it was that color but super cute what they did there <laughs> I thought it would be great to have in the boys room the boy room because it's safe I don't have to worry about him playing with my wax and that bottle says Paris and I don't really dig the blue but I do dig the bottle in the Paris. So. All right. And next, this is for the boys room, which is also on hold until after um I want to say inventory until after inspection. So I got that which is two panels in there. And then his favorite color. Which 
is going to set the tone for his room. And then that. And that's a crushed ombre panel, which looks like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh. I want to grill it up, but of course, it's not for a girl's room. But it would be perfect in his room. And I grabbed two of these iron-on transfers, the tractor. Just because I thought the tractors are so stinking cute. And then well preserved because, you know, I love my mason jars. What can I say? <laughs> okay. And a couple weeks ago, I don't think I hauled it. I bought some shoes for myself because they were $5 or $3 or whatever. And they ended up being too too big. Some flats. And I'm not really a big flat person. But I saw them and they were cute. So I got them. And they were too big. So now I'm going to try these nines. Hopefully they fit me. Because I had to give the ones that were too big. To my daughter. So, oh those were $5 by the way. And these my daughter's style she's the bobs kind of person is it bobs or toms i think it's toms sorry these are three dollars so i grabbed those for her even though she ended up taking all of mine that i bought last week and i tried them on too i tried wearing them i should say it was like three pairs I think and it just did not work out they flapped around on the back of my foot and I picked up these Renoculus just because I like the color so pretty it's an off white so I think that's for my bedroom or maybe for out here on the other side of this bookcase and this hat for the boy which was $3. It's got his favorite color in there. So for us, it'll be next year, but for some of you, they could use it right now. Crochet thread. Just some red. Looks like... Uh, it looks like a muslin. I don't know if it is or not. Some door for the boy. They were on clearance also. Oh my goodness. And these Aloha, Aloha Colados. They smell amazing. It doesn't just smell like pina colada. It smells like all of the above. Like pina colada and sunshine or something i don't even know how to explain it but they smell amazing there was only two left so i grabbed both of those and then they had these boys hat glove and scarf and it was five dollars because i end up giving him just a plain white scarf or one of my scarves that's plain white and it doesn't look girly but it doesn't look masculine so there he has his own scarves okay got me a floppy gray hat which was $13.97 can you see that three dollars and I know you guys don't know this but I love my hats this pillow is for my living room and that was 450 oh. and then I got these for my living room in purple 
I rarely buy anything um, full price, but those are purple, so I went ahead and grabbed them, and you will see why. Um, and then I got these. So these are like a faux silk, faux silk, faux silk, and then these are a cream textured. And I thought they would be a great juxtaposition, the shiny and the texture next to each other. Because that's just me. Rustic and a little bit of glam at the same time. A little sparkle. And then the piece de resistance. <laughs> Cravola. Will be this uh, twin XL bedding set for the boy. And I'm so happy, and you'll see why in the next video. I'm so happy I got, I was able to find this. It was a comforter, shams, sheet set, and a pillow. Walmart does great with these bed in the bags, but they're really girly. They tend to be girly. So when I came across this, I was like, yes, please. And it was only $39, but I didn't know that till she scanned it. I was like, how much was that? And she just kind of looked at me like, okay. So I'm trying to have boy colors. So this is going to go with his green and um, that gray I have back there. And that's why I was like, yay, it matches. So that chair is super cute. Anyway, that is my Walmart haul, guys. I will be back with the next haul. Let me clear out some of this stuff. And um, you're loved. And oh my gosh, don't be, don't be sad or hurting because you can't do this because I've been in this apartment three years and when we moved in, we had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. We sat on the floor. When we moved out here um, with a family member, when we moved out here, we had a bag of clothes it was like a 20 some odd hour drive out here and we had a bag of clothes and my vehicle and my belongings that we really needed right away were supposed to follow. So my vehicle and my belongings were going to follow and then my whole house or apartment or whatever you want to call it that I had to pare down and put into a storage unit was going to come with it. So in the car, which I was supposed to drive out here, and then at the last minute, somebody changed the plans, and I didn't. In my car, I had a um, sewing machine, and we're talking embroidery, um, embroidery, all that type of sewing machine, and some devotionals that we really wanted, some clothes, um, my art stuff you know, that we use on a regular basis, just like basic stuff that we were going to use within the next coming month. And that was supposed to follow us out here within the month, really short time period. And oh my gosh, it did not, it did not happen that way. So in the vehicle that we were in for the 22 hour trip, we had an extra bag of clothes and somehow we had to change vehicles mid trip and somehow we ended up losing a bag of clothes. So we literally had it was my daughter, um, the boy, myself, and then the family member. We literally had about five days of underwear and oh my gosh, maybe five days worth of clothes, maybe. And I don't think they were winter clothes. So we were washing our underwear like every other day. Bras and, you know, unmentionables. And we couldn't afford to buy other stuff. We just didn't have any money. We were like bare bones making it. So when I say we moved in here with nothing, I literally mean nothing. Our first Christmas, we moved in here uh, beginning of December. That first Christmas, the Christmas tree took up the living room because there was nothing else in here nothing at all and then I bought some folding chairs which I still have and the folding chairs are what we sat on and a good friend of mine gave us a tv and we had nothing we were just 
like scraping it just to get by and I bought some plates the better homes and gardens plates and because I couldn't afford like to buy the set the $40 set because I vowed I would just buy stuff that I like from now on not just stuff just to buy it um I couldn't afford the $40 set of plates so I would buy like $2 plates at a time no lie $2 plates at a time just so we would have plates and forks and we we went to the thrift store and found forks and all that good stuff so I just say that to let you know that oh my gosh God has a plan and he loves you so very much even in the hard places even in the breaking places he loves you so please sometimes when you look at these people and they're hauling all this stuff and they got this big youtube channel etc etc please don't feel like you were forgotten or you are just nobody because you're not you are loved you are somebody you have a plan a good plan a good future and a hope in your future sorry redundant but there is a hope in your future so be encouraged and i shall be back with the next video bye